I really don't mind the accuracy and media. Let's start. Last December, you were on TV shows uh, saying that you had answered all the questions or that all the doubts about the foster case had been laid to rest. There wasn't a shadow of a doubt that he died or his body was found. I sent you a letter at that time asking you questions that we felt had not been answered. Members of Accuracy and Media felt had not been answered. Many people in this room feel had not been answered. Since then, I have sent, written to you twice more. You have not acknowledged or answered any of the letters nor any of the questions. Can you tell me, will you give us an opportunity to sit down with you in private and go over these questions and discuss them, one, why you can't answer them, or will you answer them? And I'm going to give you one example. I'll give you the first question on the list that many people have seen. Well, let me just give you an illustration. If, Foster, if Foster's glasses with gunpowder on them were found 13 feet downhill from his feet, below his feet, your report says that the location of the glasses were consistent with their having been on Foster's face when he shot himself. But it doesn't say how they got there. The Fisk report said they bounced down the hill. The tests have shown that's impossible. What is your explanation of how those glasses with gunpowder on them got that far away from Foster's body if he sat down on that hill and fired a shot into his mouth? Well, Reed, let me, I would simply say, Reed, I am convinced to a moral certainty that Mr. Foster took his life right there. We spent an enormous amount of time, and we were criticized for spending time and money exhaustively looking at these matters, and I issued a report, a report that I felt did, and I still do feel, answers all of the questions that can reasonably be asked about the death of Vincent Foster, Jr. It is clear that you, especially in light of your December letter, do not agree with that. I will simply say that as of October 18, I became a private citizen with no infrastructure, and the nature, and you've been kind enough to share those interrogatories this evening, the nature of those interrogatories, it seems to me, should appropriately be addressed to the Office of Independent Counsel, which has the evidence. I don't would read. I have a copy of the report. That's all I have. And may I also simply say that the postcards that I receive at home from the members of your organization, which I receive every day, I hope will be redirected. I would urge you to redirect them to the Office of Independent Counsel. And if the Office of Independent Counsel, which is headed by a career prosecutor, doesn't respond to your satisfaction, and you have obviously rights as a citizen to your views, then I would urge you to go to the Congress of the United States and to say, we need some hearings into the Office of Independent Counsel and their unwillingness to respond. But far be it for me to be trying to answer highly specific, very specific answers that sound in the nature of forensic questions that involve a body of evidence that is in the custody of a lawful office of independent counsel in Washington, D.C. Well, Jim said I could only have one question, but how can you not answer the question about the eyeglasses? <laughs> will you answer, and will you say whether you'll meet with us? No. Uh, Judge Darn, to the 